Hello everybody, Timothy Painter talking to you from Denver, Colorado. Uh, things are going pretty well here considering that the whole city is in crisis. Everything is shut down. Even stores like T-Mobile are shut down. The shopping centers are a ghost town. And once in a while, if you go to the grocery store, they're open, but they only let people, a certain number of people in each hour. So a few people go in and then everybody else waits outside. And how do they wait? They wait all congested in a line. Now, it just seems so ridiculous to me that everybody's waiting in a big line outside all together. But when they go into the store, then they're separated. Somewhere the logic is breaking down. Same thing for Costco. Uh, you only They're only letting a certain number of people into Denver Costco's. And then you have to wait in a big line for everybody else to leave. This is a line for the El Paso County Department of Motor Vehicles. Certainly not enough distance in these lines for safety. Uh, there are lines for everything. Uh, toilet paper is especially short right now and hand sanitizer. And when I say short, you can't find either one of those products in the majority of the stores. We heard that Costco had brought in two truckloads, two whole truckloads, if you can imagine how big a truckload is, of toilet paper and uh, handing it out one, one bunch at a time. And there's nothing. When we got in, there was nothing left. So people are really, uh, really panicked and, and stocking up. We are grabbing old newspapers just in case we have to go to the back backup system. It worked for a long time. My parents probably used it uh, when I was out dry camping with a good friend up in Wyoming. He had an outhouse and we used newspaper. Uh, so we're getting ready for the tough times. Right now I'm doing really well. I'm feeling well. I'm trying to keep my distance from people because I'm in a high risk category. I have obvious lung problems. Most of you know about this. And anything above 6,000 feet, I have to be on oxygen. But that doesn't mean I have great oxygen uh, concentration in my blood. And so I'm nervous about getting this. I'm trying to be very careful. I'm in a high risk category, as I said. I have not been wasting my time. I've been watching uh, art pieces in Denver. And according to the theory, there's nothing wrong with driving around in your car and, and looking at the sights. The problem is when you get out of your vehicle and you start handling things, you touch railings, you open doors, you use the bathroom, you put your hands anywhere that they could easily be contaminated. And of course, when you come into contact with people, you're also subject to contamination. But there's no contamination walking around or driving around the city of Denver. And it is a beautiful city. So I'm bringing to you a few of the murals that I was able to capture while I was out driving around. This is the mural at a natural grocer's market, which I really enjoyed photographing. It's one of my favorite markets. Always a blast. This mural is on busy Colfax Avenue. Colfax used to be the old way west to east through town. This incredible painting is on a tattoo parlor of all places. I thought this was really well done. And the cat? Well, I love cats. These are alley cats, also on East Colfax Avenue in Denver.
These two are in a building on South Broadway in Denver, Colorado. I was really taken with these. The artistry is just phenomenal. I'm passing my time, keeping a good attitude about it all, and I'm missing the heck out of all of you. I hope to be back to making regular videos very soon. And until then, well, I'll do the best I can. I hope you enjoy, and if you like, please press like. Otherwise, leave your remarks. I'd love to hear what you think. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe. Well, this is Timothy Painter. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.